Hello my friends, this is Pedro Miguel Costa speaking in Cinecanta Studio and I bring you a solution to shoot your next project, your next film in film. It's too expensive. Oh, no problem. There's a solution. Uh, it's a plugin called The Answer. The Answer is available as a plugin in your DaVinci Resolve. Uh, it's available on your iPhone and you can emulate like capturing your images in true negative. Uh, in this case, I have this Kodak, but you can change from Kodak to Fujifilm and some other films. And you can print the film to make it positive, change colors to emulate all the things that the film has, the gate weaver, the elation, uh, a lot of stuff. And remember, this is not a toy. This is like a real lab where you send your film to develop, to print, and you check, oh, please make, make my film more magenta, more green, more yellow. I like to print on Kodak. I like to film in Fuji. I like to film on Kodak. This is all very expensive. And in the answer, you can do it in a plugin. It's very technical. I've been working uh, on the plugin and my first thought uh, is really, really, really professional. Everything that I thought about film that it should do, it have it. So it's like a real uh, cinema lab to develop, to print. So please come with me and let's watch it on DaVinci Resolve. Let's talk about the answer. Um, I've been working out the answer. Uh, it's like I said, it's a very professional, very technical uh, plugin um, that I like because I can customize everything. Uh, and let's just make uh, a simple introduction. This is film. The image goes, the light goes into the film. There's a chemical reaction that records the image into film. Like on this Ari camera. This is Ari Techno. There's a hole in this where the light goes through the lens, goes to the film, and the film goes 24 frames per second, or whatever you like. So it transforms light into image by a chemical reaction. This baby here, the Red Dragon, is a digital camera. So it transforms light into electricity and then, then it's converted into a binary file, zeros and ones, and that's it. Two different worlds. So let's talk about the answer. The answer is a very technical plugin that I love. Um, I, I think the, the people that develop this plugin, they are very professional. They have to have uh, help from real people that worked before with film because it's just not to, to shoot film, it's to develop the film, it's to print the film. And all of that is on the answer. I have here some um, examples that I made with the same images, images that I capture with my Red Dragon. And you can achieve so different looks like this uh, film look, but with no grain, you can go to uh, a, a true black and white. You can go to a more grainy film. Um, and it's all there. Everything that you think about working with film, it's all on the plugin. For example, if you want to, to change something and you don't know how this works, you can use simple presets of the film. You can use, imagine this Kodak Ultramax 400. You can print the film on your Fuji film. You can print it on Kodak. And the thing that I can assure you, this is not a toy. This is not a plugin for you to play around. This is the real deal, is a lab. Um, a cinema lab, a real cinema lab. And for me, 
I can approach the image through the DaVinci Resolve uh, or through the plugin. But as the plugin is inside DaVinci Resolve, for me, it's very, very interesting because I can create um, a grade and I can grab still and after I can select another image and go to that grab still and apply grade. And I can save my grades for another project. Um, I, I was surprised that it was so technical because I thought, oh, it should be able to change the colors while it is negative. And I start to work around with the plugin and it's have. Why, why is it important to, to change something while it's a negative? Because the, the film um, goes and capture negative colors, not positive colors. And to be able to change it to tune while it's negative, it's very important. After you have the print, it's very important to print the film because in the theaters you don't see negative film. You see positive film. It's a print. Um, and the film grain, for me, I really don't use the presets that it came with the 8mm, 16mm. I like to go custom and to tweak the size of the grain. Dilation, for me, I try to use some of the presets. If I don't like, I can go to the custom and tweak it out. Um, and I can create this amazing film look because it's like you send the film to the lab and ask the technician to pull up the film to give it more gain to put it more magenta, more green, more yellow on the film. And in this case, you can do it all in the plugin. Um, and being inside this amazing software, DaVinci Resolve, that I use it all the time, I, I, start, I started to edit on the Final Cut. And after I move all my work to DaVinci Resolve, post-production, editing, how do you, I do everything on DaVinci Resolve. And to be able to have the answer on the DaVinci Resolve, for me, it's um, a plus. Um, because imagine, you have this beautiful image and you can uh, go here and you have, imagine, film develop. You can change your contrast. To do it on real film, on the last bath of the film, instead of five minutes, you should be able to put it 10 minutes, 15 minutes to achieve uh, more deep blacks. In here, it's just tweak of a button. You can make it more dense. Uh, you can boost your colors. You can back it. Imagine sometimes you have a saturated film. Sometimes you have a more uh, natural, less saturated film. Uh, and all that you think that you can uh, get from film, the plugin has it, the answer has it. Uh, my recommendations, if, if you have some knowledge in photography, film photography, film develop, if you don't have it, you can ask a friend to give you some ideas, what is to develop the film, what is to change the nature of the film, to change the ISO of the film, to change some parameters, and what is to print the film. So if someone can explain it to you, maybe later I can do a video about it, uh, to explain what is develop, what is film print, what is gate weaver, what is um, halation. All of that, it's what make it, make it real and look like real film. So, in my perspective, I think you should try the plugin. It's very professional, it's a lab, there's no complications to talk about and to phone, email the lab, to change this, to change that. You are really on the lab. So, 
my recommendation is do you try it and learn it because I'm still learning it because it's very technical as I remind you it's not a toy it's the real deal it's a real lab um, and on this video I will leave you with some uh, shots graded with the answer so it will be the same shots but graded differently uh, using different methods to see what you can achieve with the answer because I could be here talking hours and hours to go item by item but what I really recommend you is that you put your hands on it if the plugin in DaVinci Resolve it's not the right thing for you and if you think you need something simple the the answer is the answer they have a iPhone app that have all that is in the plugin but in such uh, user-friendly environment uh, like you can select your video you can go into you can dive into presets instead of going to more technical issues with the plugin but uh, you can of course uh, press one preset and after you can edit you can tweak all the things like black point white point and expand compression developer films um, print and for me is the the real thing about this plugin is uh, you can choose the film that you film that you expose your your picture and after you can print it's two different things so you can film do your film in a kodak film and or a fuji film and after you can print it on a positive film like a kodak um, and you have the color head the color head is the the, the thing most similar to photography where you can trick up the the cyan the magentas the yellows instead of the the blue green and red because they are uh, they are the the color that are uh, not added but uh, subtracted to the main color so you can adjust it to more magenta more green more yellow more blue uh, more cyan more red imagine if you have an image a bluish image image you can um, go back to that bluish uh, inserting some yellow on your image um, you have the film grain the elation the bloom vignetting film breath gate river all in the plugin in um, a very user uh, friendly uh, app and here you have color temperature um, and after uh, you tweak you can export your film um, and that's it because it's so so amazing so complete that um, I was a little bit septic at the first but as, as I start to tweak it I was whoa this is the real deal this is film because I've shoot black and white color. I develop film black and white color and I know what I'm talking about. So I use and, and transform film cameras. I use digital cameras, so I know what I'm talking about. So please give it a try. See the videos that I will leave you on, the, um, on this video. And I will publish also the same videos separately on my channel for you to watch them uh, all graded one way the other way, black and white, color, grainy, uh, chunky. Uh, I think you should try it. So, thumbs up. If you like this video, please subscribe. I will leave a link on the description below to go directly to the answer and for you to test it out. So, thank you very much for watching and please remember subscribe. Thank you very much.